All right, let's take a look at VS Code Extension because this is gonna be the primary way that you are going to be working with Azure Functions. So in order to productively work with Azure Functions, you'll need the Visual Studio Code um, Azure Functions Extension. And so what you'll do there is install that. Once it's installed and you have an Azure icon um, in your activity bar with the side bar drawer, you can look for functions. I'm gonna get my pen tool out here. So the idea is you install this, and then now you have at the top here the functions um, uh, tab so you can manage Azure Functions. It's possible to use Azure Portal to create and update Windows host, hosted Azure Functions, but in practice, it's not an easy experience. And with Linux, it's impossible. Um, this is a very kind of different experience compared to something like uh, AWS or Google Cloud, where you can do basically uh, everything in the cloud. Uh, but with Azure Functions, you really, really, really rely on Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can use Visual Studio uh, for .NET and C Sharp app functions. I've never done it myself, but uh, it is an option out there. So there you go.